If you need unlimited domination, clutch time, or anything else grinded, make sure you hit up Rose NBA on Twitter for quick, safe, and reliable grinding services. Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing episode number 11 of I Build Your Teams, the series where I build my viewers' teams into the best teams possible for my team unlimited and or competitive play based on how much MT they have and what their squad is currently looking like. Before you hop out of the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 8,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. I would really appreciate your support if you haven't already, if you do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. And let's start off with the first team of notes. Comes in from my boy Carson. He's got Cade, Russ, Jimmy Butler. Uh, DeMar DeRozan, Tim Thomas, Pippen, AD, Worthy, Kareem, and KP. And I like this team a ton. This is an amazing squad, even as a base team. Uh, he says he's looking to pick up Penny or PG, or a he says and PG. I don't know what the, I know he plays on in Switch, so I don't know what the Switch Marketplace looks like. And if you can do that on the Switch Marketplace, that's great. Um, but for me personally, what I would recommend, I would honestly say, I think Penny's the guy to pick up. Uh, I don't think it's worth picking up Paul George regardless, even if the Switch Marketplace is where you can actually buy those both those guys for 300k. Uh, I still wouldn't buy PG simply because I like Tim Thomas. I like Scottie Pippen. We're coming to the end of the season already. I don't think you need to spend MT on a position where you already have a really, really good reward card option like a Pippen. Now, I think having Penny and Cade as your point guard duo at this point is very good because we're seeing more and more of the game start to shift towards favoring those guys who are at least 6'5 or 6'6 at the PG position. It's important to have those guys who have good interior defense and good size at PG, like a Penny, a Cade, or a Magic. Uh, so for me personally, I do think Penny would be probably the best upgrade that you could personally do for this team right now. Uh, but outside of that, I really like the team a lot, and I'd, I'd keep it the same and save your MT for Season 3. Uh, second team today comes in from Hamza. He's got 220k. He says he loves Bosch. Got KP sitting in the collection as well. If you love Bosch, there's no reason you got to get rid of him. I'll say that. Uh, and I like this team a lot, to be completely honest, as a base squad, just like the first team. I feel like it's really well built all the way around. Um... What I will recommend, in all honesty, is if you have KP, I think you play KP and you sell Hakeem. Me, personally, I would start Kareem, bring KP off the bench, and sell Hakeem. That's just my personal opinion. It's going to free up a lot of MT for you as well, which is really nice. will help you out going into Season 2. And outside of that, I don't think you need to spend MT. Now, obviously, me personally, I probably wouldn't keep Chris Bosh. I don't love him at this point. But if you're a huge fan of Chris Bosh, definitely no reason that you can't hold on to him as well and keep him in the lineup. Um, but yeah, that's about all I would do right now is honestly, uh, plug KP at your backup center, start Kareem and sell Hakeem. That's what I would personally do with this squad if you're going to keep Chris Bosch. And yeah, very solid team. Uh, 13 today comes in from Weston. He's, he says he's broke, but he can sell some things. Um, asking for suggestions. Okay, so you say you could sell some things. I'm kind of wondering what you mean by that, to be completely honest, uh, because I don't feel like you have a lot of auctionable stuff in your team besides Kareem and besides John Wall. Now, I would sell John Wall. I will say that. I would definitely probably sell John Wall because you could use the MT for sure. I don't know if I'd sell Kareem because I personally still think he's the best center in the game uh, and his price is so affordable. I feel like he's worth his price for uh, being the best big in the game, in my opinion. Um, so I would definitely sell John Wall. I would sell anything else in your collection that you can sell as well uh, just to make that MT. I'd probably even sell Diamond Kobe, although he's not super expensive, so you could keep Diamond Kobe. Uh, I would definitely find a spot for Scottie Pippen, though, whether you're playing Pippen at the backup three and Kobe at the backup two or Pippen at the backup three and uh, Richard Jefferson at the backup two. Either way, I would definitely still be playing Pippen because I think he's probably better than Richard jefferson at the three uh, and then you can pick between those two guys at the two uh, you do need point guards a little bit i think right now your best option in terms of getting some budget players and upgrading your team a little bit is going to be picking up a couple guys like an alex caruso and a chris Depp's porzingis i think you can slot both those guys in here uh one of them at your pg position instead of john wall and then bring kp off the bench instead of big z and i think those two players are gonna be pretty significant upgrades for this squad uh, and then like I, you said you said you could sell some things so if you can free up some other mt in the future that will be beneficial for you going into season two hopefully some players prices will drop things like that so you could work towards maybe getting a top PG like a Penny Hardaway, another power forward at some point to replace Jermaine O'Neal. But uh, definitely would be selling John Wall, getting a couple budget guys like Caruso and KP. And um, I think that will help out this team a bit to save you some MT and just upgrade it in terms of making it a little more solid all the way around. Uh, fourth team today comes in from C4. He's got an uh, unauctionable Kobe that he got from an exchange pack. That is pretty lucky. Congratulations. Uh, he says he wants to lock in for Tim Thomas. I don't know where you're going to get the MT to lock in for Tim Thomas, considering it looks like only a 45K right 
right now. But if you can do that, that's awesome. Um, all of a sudden, you have Tim. Th if you have Tim Thomas, you could throw him at the four. Said you need to do four. Uh, Tim Thomas is an absolutely amazing four that you can throw in there. Um, I don't feel like there are a ton of budget fours that are auctionable right now in the game, unfortunately, which is pretty annoying. I feel like it's probably the weakest position in the game in terms of those budget players. Um, so while I do think this team is pretty solid all the way around, especially your one through threes, I don't love MPJ, but he's not horrible. Um, I don't know exactly what I'd be doing with this team right now, to be completely honest, because I feel like if you're trying to free up MT, the, you're... Yeah, to, if you're going to lock in Tim Thomas, it's going to be very hard for you to lock in Tim Thomas the way your team is currently. You're going to have to sell some players or attain some MT somehow. Uh, and there aren't really a lot of auctionable budget fours to run right now. I like Jared Vanderbilt. I like Tim Thomas at the four if you can get him there. Uh, and if you can get Tim Thomas at the four, you throw Jared Vanderbilt off the bench. Um, but yeah, 2K needs to drop some more budget fours right now because right now there just aren't that many amazing options there. But outside of that, I really like this team a lot. And I think you got yourself a good squad, especially if you do have more MT and you do get Tim Thomas because obviously he's the best card in the game, in my opinion. Um, the fifth team today comes in from Brandon. He's got 2.3 mil, uh, got a pretty much all reward team. In fact, I think it might actually be besides Paul George and all. Oh, he's got KP as well. But Paul George and KP, it looks like are his only two non reward players because it looks like he has the locker code jaw or neutral on jaw or something. Um, with that being said, with 2.3 mil, I think you can afford to spend a little bit of MT upgrading a few positions. Um, I would probably look to upgrade point guard first. I'd probably bring Russ off the bench and buy Penny Hardaway. That's probably the first thing I'd do. Um, outside of that, I might buy a two. I might even buy a... Eh, Clyde and D-Book is fine. You can stick with that. Especially, it seems like you are trying to save those budget... Uh, or use those free cards to save your MT for Season 3, which is a good idea. So I'd go Penny and Russ, Clyde and D-Book, PG and Pippen, AD and James Worthy, and Kareem and KP. That's what my 10-man, my ideal 10-man would be for this team right now. Really using a lot of those reward cards effectively, but also saving yourself some MT. And uh, I think that's probably the best way that you can do, build this team is adding a couple of those top-end players like Penny and Kareem, but still throwing in, for the most part, other reward players and stuff like that because you already have a lot of good reward players. So, uh, yeah, I think your team is looking really solid, though. And, uh, yeah, that's about all I have to say with this one. Now, second to last team today comes in from Trex. He's got 107. 1,000 MT. He's got D-Rose. De'Aaron Fox, who I actually like a lot. That's a little bit underrated, I think. Uh, Ron Artest, Amethyst Kobe, James Worthy, Rodman, Malone, Paulo, Big Z, and Joel Embiid. So, uh, you don't have a ton of MT flexibility to work with, which is a little bit annoying, but you do have enough where I think you can make a couple changes if need be. Um, now, with 107k MT, I would say your main positions to be looking to upgrade or swap out some things is one, to get a more defensive PG, which is where Alex Caruso comes in. I think he's worth picking up. Number two, I think you need to pick up a guy like Chris Desperzingas at the five. He's just so good. Uh, top three, in my opinion, center in the game right now. I mean, even as a base card, he's top five even if you don't get extra extra uh, half badges on kp or anything like that i still think he's absolutely incredible so i think you throw him in at that center position and bring whoever you prefer between big z and Embiid off the bench uh and then you get caruso at the one because i don't think the two through four are quite as important positions uh, outside of that right now you don't have a ton of mt flexibility like i said so maybe you get diamond kobe instead of amethyst kobe you play him at the starting two and bring our test off the bench i don't love paulo but again there aren't a ton of very good budget fours at this point in the game which is really kind of frustrating um and hopefully they'll drop a couple more of those guys especially with season three coming up here in a, in a little bit but um you could maybe even consider moving james worthy to the four uh or dennis rodman to your backup four um uh, if you moved worthy to the four you could have moses malone at the backup four uh maybe you start rodman at the four and you buy yourself a backup three because there are more budget threes um or maybe you have a takeover player like an andrew wiggins or somebody like that that you could throw in there as well but overall i definitely still think this team is very very capable very very good and um i uh i think i think i don't think it's like an elite elite team but i think it's a very workable team especially if you add a couple more budget players and then start working on saving some more mt for season three so last team today comes in from denwood he's got 300,000 mt considering buying penny and 80 is coming next season so another really good team solid mix of reward cards and really good top end players like tim thomas um if you're gonna buy somebody penny is the guy to buy i'll say that uh, and then you'll have 80 next season which means you can uh move james worthy to the bench or something like that um but yeah i think I think this team is really, really good. I really like this team a lot, to be completely honest. Um, and I think once you get AD, you throw him in there, obviously, at starting four. And then um, 
if you get Penny, I mean, that's the only guy I'd consider buying right now with the way your team is, to be completely honest. Um, the only thing, if you buy pennies, you may not have a lot of MT going into next season, which might be a little bit of an annoyance for you. I'm not sure how big of a deal that is for you. So uh, it's kind of up to you whether that's something that you actually want to do or not. But uh, that is going to do it for today's video. Hopefully y'all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.